Nothing like a sunset over the garden. Hey, this is Brett. I'm the TN Gardener. I got a, something a little different today. Instead of playing in the garden and showing all the tomatoes and junk that we normally do, I've got a clothes dryer. We run off solar power. My solar clothes dryer. I thought it might be interesting for y'all to see today. Somebody had to have love before I got to the, past him here. He thinks he's special or something. I thought I'd do a little different video today. This here is my solar dryer. We actually got it for free. I came up with the idea, looked at the wiring diagram for most of them. My daughter happened to be going by a repair place that repairs appliances and she asked them about a dryer that whether the dryer heated or not, just needed when it tumbled and he gave it to me. Put it on the back of her truck, hauled it home for free. I thought that was a pretty good deal. The only thing I've got involved is the stove pipe on the back of it. I know it looks horrible. It's a nasty old dryer top. It was sitting outside. It was, like I said, it was free. That's not really dirt. If you look really close, them are rust marks. It's, it had a pretty rough life before I got it, and it ain't much better sitting in the greenhouse because everything gets thrown on top of it. It's a catch-all. Until my wife wants to wash clothes or dry clothes. If I can stand up. You notice the pipe, it goes up into the ceiling of my greenhouse. We use the greenhouse for the, the heat for the dryer. But we run the dryer itself off solar power. There is no heat now but in this dryer. Given it is in the greenhouse, yeah, the greenhouse is junky. It's kind of off away from everything. Don't make much noise. Gets good heat. It takes a couple hours to dry clothes, especially if it's summertime and it's really hot out. A couple hours. We took an hour and a half in the house. This costs virtually nothing now. It runs purely on off my inverter. The heat comes from here. You can put fabric fabric softener in the clothes when you wash them. You can put the dryer sheets in the dryer when you dry it. Don't make much difference when you spin them in this. You can't really tell the difference. Okay, I tried to move this thing. It's setting pretty good inside the greenhouse. Look over the junk of the greenhouse. but You'll notice down in here, the heat now must have been taken out. We tied the wires together. Warranted everything off. I took the, the panel off, sealed it up, and mined that six inch pipe we was looking at from the other side a while ago in a hole right in the top of it. The actual blower the actual blower motor runs off the same 120 volt motor that spins the drum. It don't blow air across the heat now, but it actually pulls air across it. So it's actually pulling air out of the drum. So by putting the pipe here, we're sucking the hot air from up there into the drum, have the clothes turn back out of the drum, back out the fan, and back out the silver pipe at the bottom. This greenhouse actually gets about, I've seen at least 130 during the day. We close the door on it, after we put the clothes in it, get it spinning. We've got a temperature gauge we can watch. We know how hot it is. So you'll know kind of when to put the clothes in, when not to. It's a real simple setup. I swapped the wires up here. It was a 220 setup. Notice I've got the black on the first one. I got the white on the second one. The, white, the second one used to be the ground. But I swapped it to neutral because it runs to the motor now. And I put a body ground on the the back of it for the ground on this, so it, nobody gets hurt or shocked. 
but the 220 to everything else has been cut off. Unfortunately, the motor is 120, but the timer in it is 220. The at temp sensor, we've tied it together so the timer would actually run, but I only have 120 volt solar, so I can't run anything 220 yet. But everything that we didn't need has been tied off. Heat set don't really make a difference. It's whatever heats inside the greenhouse, what you get. I thought it was a pretty neat thing. I thought I'd share this little tidbit. Hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a good day. Like or subscribe. God bless.